Hi everyone. Uh, having a robot brother like Jarvis is uh, a dream of uh, many people, including me. And our company is going working hard to make this dream come true. And I am Tina Nam, uh, CEO and founder of Next Robo. And the vision of our company is to enhance, uh, to, to enrich uh, everyone's family life by merging arts and robotics technology. And here, uh, it is our first product, Big Eye. It is a family robot, as you can see here. And this is uh, our team. It is, uh, they all are energetic and passionate about robotics. And they are all based in Shenzhen, China. And here shows what I have done before. It includes different kinds of robots, including the industrial robot, uh, autonomous vehicles, and also some special purpose robots, just like tree climbing robots and rescue robots. And in 2015, I realized that uh, framing robot will play a very important role in the next five years. So I determined to fund a company and make Big Eye. And so what Big Eye actually is? Big Eye is actually a mobile intelligent robot that can talk with you, receive your voice command, and also it can control the home applicants or smart home devices. But most importantly, this robot play a very important part this. It acts as an autonomous mobile perception and implementation platform to empower a more cap capable home automation. So why we call the big guy is a family robot, but not a household robot, because we aim to enrich every family life with our robot. With our robot, um, it can help spare you more time, and so that you can have more time to accompany with your family. Also, it can, when you are not available at that moment, you can also teach big guy how it can take care of your family so that it can pass your care to your family members. And it can also record any happy or important moment in your family, and you can enjoy the payback with your family members. And because the guy is uh, very interactive and it is uh, educable, you can teach the robot what it should do. So um, through the fostering and playing with big guy with your family, you can actually uh, enhance the relationship among each family member. So uh, actually we realized that to put robot into every family is very hard and challenging. So uh, we think that one of the most important thing is that we should have a suitable design such that people will accept it and willing to put it at their home. We want to make a robot that gives people a feeling that match what people feel about home and family. So that we make the robot very calm and peaceful. And you can see this, this robot, when it do not need to do anything, it just stand at the corner and close its eye. It will never disturb you when uh, it do not need to do anything. And you can also see that the surface and the color and the texture is very matched to the home furniture and home settings. So it will not always catch in your eyes when you put it at your home. Another important thing is that it should be safe and warm. You can, as you can see, the robot is round in shape and do not have any sharp corners. In addition, there are filled with a soft material and covered with fabric. So, um, People are very willing to interact and touch and even hunt with the robot and they will feel very soft and comfortable. And the other thing is that we know that people always want to communicate or interact with living things rather than a low life machine. So we want to make big eye as if it is alive. So we present the living features through the eyeball motion and also the body movement. As you can see here, it's just showing is a curiosity about the environment. And another one is 
so it is uh, quite sleepy. Another very important thing is that uh, how we can make the robot adaptable to every frame because every frame is the home setting is different, the people is very different. So how can we uh, make this? We try to do this with this three core technology. The first one is the personal learning capability. It can recognize people, uh, your family member, and also it can uh, recognize the interior layout of your frame of your home, so that it know where is your kitchen is, where is your living room is, so as to provide a specific service to you according to this information. Another one is the voice programming. Here, the voice programming means uh, you can teach big guy what it should do when it's when something happens, so that it can provide a personalized feature for you. And the third one is we have a next robot OS. That means uh, it is dedicated for family robot. Developer can create more skills for the robot to make it more, much more powerful. Here, the voice programming for Big Eye is not only means it is a voice question and answer interaction or a voice instant command. It is to teach Big Eye what it should execute automatically when it's uh, when some specific condition happens. So you can teach the guy by saying, when you sense a certain things in a specific location, a specific time, so you should execute something in specific location and specific time. This allows user to have a flexibility to create what it needs to do rather than it need to raise the developer to create a new application for them. And here so some of the examples of the voice programming, some scenario. For example, a son can teach Big Eye, if you see dad sitting on the couch after 7 p.m., please turn on the television. Because Big Eye know who is father and know where is the coach, and of course know the time, so it can and do this automatically. Another example is that uh, a mom can ask the guy to help her to remind his dad to, uh, about the weather forecast. Also, a father can also <coughs> teach the guy if you see a stranger in your home, you, can, you should take a photo and let me know. Or even you can ask the guy to, to call 911. So every uh, Every scenario and application is customized by users. And here, although it's not a voice programming scenario, but it is um, worth to, to mention about. When a grandma is at home and a son is uh, outside, a son wants to contact the grandma but, uh, by phone, but no one answered the call. So he was very worried about his grandma. And it, at this time, the son can remotely uh, ask the guy to look, to find out where is the grandma and start up a video call so that uh, he can make uh, a contact. And more, more and more possibility can be created by user with their imagination. What we provide is a voice programming uh, architecture and also provide a list of sensing and implementation capability for, for the robot. Of course, this Skills can also be extended by the first party or uh, our company. And here needs some of the uh, current basic skills of Big Eye, including the motion tracking, the face recognition, and also the uh, uh, navigation, and some smart home control video call, and home security, and take a picture video, uh, etc. And here is the specification of uh, hardware specification of Big Eye. You can see there are very rich sensing capabilities, so that third party can um, develop many funny or something useful skills to enhance Big Eye functions. And here shows uh, two of the early stage testing of the voice program Rafo. And the, this one, uh, the left hand side, showing how we can let the guy control the fan automatically when he hears something.
Do you have any voice from here? Yes. Maybe I play it again. If you hear very hot, please turn on fan. If you hear very hot, please turn on fan. Please say yes to confirm. Yes. Okay, I got it. Very hot. Smartphone, smart fan. Looking for the fan. Is testing the workflow of the voice programming, and because the fan is uh, infrared remote controlled, the okay. big guy need to turn around to point to the fan so they can control the fan. Another example is to uh, use the voice programming and the body motion to trigger a specific function. Hello, big guy. When we have fan program it, waving hand do not. Hey. Do not trigger anything. When I raise my hand, please dance with me. When I raise my hand, please dance. Please confirm. Yes. Okay, I got it. So this time when I raise my hand, it will trigger the dancing skills. Let's dance. Just, just play music and follow your steps. And the following video is showing you how Big Eye actually can do in a daily life in, in a real home. Do you speak English? Yes, a little. Here I, we can use I a lot of voice programming to autom family robot. automatic coding to a lot of things. Yeah. Big Eye, if you see me wave my hand, Please turn on the lamp. Big Eye, if you see Jake still asleep in his room, turn on lights and play music. Time for your workout. The temperature outside is 45 degrees. You will need a jacket. Big Eye will be in charge of daily chores, so you are free to enjoy every precious moment. At the same time, it helps show your loving care for the family. You have a phone call from Dad. It's three core technologies, voice programming, educatability, and next robo operating system make Big Eye adaptable. A stranger approaches the front door. It becomes thereby the world's first personal robot suitable for individual needs. Mom wishes to see you. With the help of educatability and voice programming, we make Big Eye able to adapt itself to ever-changing family usage scenarios. Simply say what your needs are. Big Eye will understand your requirements, then adapt corresponding skills to satisfy them. A black hole is a region of space-time exhibiting such strong gravitation. It's time to eat. In the future, you can download more apps on the next Robo operating system to enrich Big Eye. It can be used for online shopping, hotel booking, and more. Good night. With Big Eye, the possibilities are endless. The only limit is your imagination. Okay, and this is the time limitation. I just stop my presentation here, and thank you very much.